Thank you for joining the team at Hands-On Labs today for our live demo series. Today's topic is dedicated to teach science from a social distance. Before I hand the mic over to our host, let me take a moment to review the webinar logistics and give a brief introduction on today's event. We encourage our attendees to participate in the conversation by asking questions and sharing resources. Please use the chat function to join in the conversation. Be sure to toggle the window to all panelists and attendees if you'd like the entire group to see your comment or question. If you have questions, please add those in the Q&A box. You can find this section in your toolbar. At any point in the conversation, you can raise your virtual hand and our distance learning specialist will send you a private chat message to support your needs. Everyone here today will receive a follow-up email by the end of the day that will include a recording of the webinar and additional resources for you to reference moving forward. We have several distance learning specialists on the panel today to help answer any questions you have in real time. For questions pertaining to kit cost and customization, please work directly with your dedicated representative once the webinar concludes. Pam will address any remaining questions at the end of the demo so you have clarification on important topics. So what can you expect to see today? During our Teach Science from a Social Distance webinar, Pam will demonstrate how our digital curriculum and lab kits can be used to support you as you transition your science lab online. If you don't already know our host today, Pam Heiswang is one of our tenured account executives supporting both eScience Labs and Hands-On Labs for Science Interactive Group. She has over seven years of online and in-classroom teaching experience and understands the importance of this transition. Please give a warm welcome to our host, Pam Piswing. Thank you so much, Amanda, for that great introduction and welcome everyone to the first part of our Teach Science from a Social Distance series. I do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to learn more on what we do. Again, my name is Pam Paisling, and while I am not a scientist, I am an educator and understand what you're all experiencing right now. With the sudden changes that schools are having to make to work through this pandemic, it could be a challenging and stressful time. You're probably looking for a solution that can be easy to implement so that you can focus on the most important part of your role, which is teaching. I'd like for you to consider Hands-On Labs as your partner for a one-stop shop and turnkey solution for your science disciplines. One of the main questions that I often get is, how are you going to create an engaging and, ex and an accessible learning environment for your students? Well, in today's webinar, I'm excited to share with you on how Hands-On Labs can provide you with just that. In case you're not familiar with who we are, Hands-On Labs has been around for more than 25 years, developing and refining our product. We are the pioneer in online science labs, allowing students, instructors, and institutions to stay competitive in the new global education environment. As an online laboratory curriculum provider, we offer a range of physical and simulated lab activities in conjunction with our interactive cloud-based learning platform. In doing this for nearly three decades, we strive to provide our schools with the utmost service and products. Now that you know a little bit more about who we are, let's talk about what we do. We have over 700 peer-reviewed lessons across 10 science disciplines, ranging from anatomy and physiology to environmental science. All our content is initially developed internally by our PhD scientists with teaching experience and then peer-reviewed by our board of advisors. From the peer-reviewed lessons, you have the option to choose from our standard product, or if you'd like, you can customize your specific course and goals. And as we know, Different clients have different needs, so it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. We offer a selection of simulations and hands-on activities to provide a unique solution. By using the A2L Cloud as your platform, all the solutions are built around a rigorous curriculum designed again by our science team. So let's talk about what the A2L Cloud can do for you. As mentioned, our curriculum is hosted on a cloud-based platform that's designed to be open once you've adopted this. Open to using our pre-built lessons and labs or open to creating your own lessons by using our custom lesson authoring tools. You will see that we base our curriculum from three of the five years of learning, exploration, experimentation, and evaluation. 
But before we get into that, I'd like to show you one of my favorite features of the HOL Cloud, which is the course dashboard. Now, as an instructor, I always like to know how my students are doing with the content that's provided. It gives me an opportunity to also see if they might need additional support. So this feature allows you to see the basic analytics of your class. From looking at the course completion, you can look at it as a whole, or you can toggle back and forth to individual lessons. You can also see the time spent on lessons, which allows you to have those conversations if you feel like your students are falling behind. The student overview provides a high level glance at what lessons the students have completed and what lessons are still in progress. So again, it's just a really good snapshot for your class. Now that I've shown you one of my favorite features, let's get into the curriculum. We'll start with exploration. This is where your curriculum and content are housed. You'll have the opportunity to add more content as you see fit or use it as is. You can also use the custom lesson authoring tools to create your own lessons. Let's get into the experimentation. And this, my friends, is where the fun begins. This is where the students will have the hands-on aspect for the lessons. You'll be able to combine simulations with hands-on activities when designing a course. Our standard physics kit is a great example of this, where your students will experience a combination of both hands-on and simulated activities. Students are then able to submit the results and findings into our integrated data table. Now, as you're researching the best option possible, you may have seen other virtual offerings out there, including simulations, dissections, whatever might be there. However, what sets hands-on labs apart is our curriculum and how we merge it with the virtual tools to give your students the immersive learning experience that you're wanting. One thing that I wanna show you today is our virtual microscope or v-scope. So give me just a few moments to pull this up. This was created in-house by our team to give you the option to complete the same lessons and labs without using a physical microscope. As you can see, students will have to complete the protocols on the right to keep moving forward. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the stage to the lowest position. And once I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the illuminator. And once I see the green check mark, I'll be able to go ahead and change the settings for the power. And now that I have those green check marks, I'll be able to go ahead and select the slide from the slide library. Please note that all of the slides that you're seeing in the V-scope are going to be the same slides that your students would receive in a physical kit. So you do have that option to choose. Again, the students will have to go through and keep moving the slide and adjust it so that they can go ahead and get their results submitted to you. By doing this, not only are you able to save on cost, you're also able to maintain the rigor and agility on the experiments that the students are completing. Now keep in mind, if there's a lab that you love to do every year with your students, you can add that as well by using the custom lesson authoring tool. Finally, we'll get into the last part, which is the evaluation. And this ensures that your students were able to apply and uh, learn and apply the knowledge that they've recently attained in the labs and lessons that they've completed. Your students will go through a series of multiple choice, drag and drop, labeling, true or false, and short answer questions as well. You as the instructor will have the ease in grading their work through our gradebook feature. Now, I know as an instructor, grading isn't the most fun part in what we do, However, the multiple choice formatted questions are automatically graded for you. For the data table results and short answers, we want you to have a second set of eyes to make sure that your students were on the right track. Just a few things to note, we are ADA compliant and your students will be able to use this on their tablet, laptop and desktop. As you can see, our product can be tailored to support the curriculum for your class. Finally, I'd like to share with you how we are your partner through it all. First, you'll have a dedicated account manager, like myself, to help guide you through every step of the process, starting from reviewing our experiment library and seeing what will work, work best will help build out your class with you. Then we'll help you with the onboarding to make sure that you're comfortable on how you're going to facilitate this class. We are there for you throughout your semester as your frontline support. 
You'll also have the support of our incredible science team who can help with any science specific questions. This team can also help align your syllabus with the lessons that we have available to create a course that fits your goals. Since we integrate with LMSs such as Blackboard, Canvas, Moodle, and D2L, we can work with you to bring a one-click sign-on and grade porting option if you'd like. Our customer service team is also there to support your students when using our platform. They're available to help answer any questions that may come up throughout the semester. Finally, our sales support team will work directly with your students or with your institution's bookstore to ensure that kits are ordered and available for purchase for the upcoming term. So we are here to provide you with everything that you would need to be successful for your upcoming class. With that being said, we are so excited to partner with you and help create a course that you can use not only in the immediate future, but long-term as well. I wanna thank you again for taking the time out of your day to learn more about what we do at Hands-On Labs. I can tell you that my team and I are so excited to connect with you. And also, part of our next series is going to get more in depth in the HOL Cloud. So please be sure to look out for more details on that. Thanks again. And Amanda, Let's go ahead and open it up for any questions that our audience may have asked during this webinar. Um, now, keep in mind, I am not a scientist, so I do have my fabulous Dr. Kate on the webinar to help me with those science-specific questions. Fantastic, thank you so much for sharing, Pam. Um, let's see what questions we have uh, so far. Um, Looks like I don't have any right now. Pam, this has been an awesome webinar. Thank you so much for, for guiding this. Um, I love that your favorite feature is our course dashboard. <laughs> my, my favorite feature is our grade book. So I can't wait for us to go into more detail to show um, all of our instructors, you know, everything that you can do with the grade book. Absolutely. And, um, and one thing too that I will say, because I know uh, I always say trip trip when I'm calling on my students and I know it's a little quiet out there. If you are interested in getting connected with your um, your account manager, please feel free to drop your email state and school that you're with and I'll make sure that it gets passed along to the right person. All right, we've got some good questions coming in here now. Oh, so um, Pam, can you go a little more into detail about how we support instructors with their onboarding? Absolutely, excellent question. So we will actually be there to build out the course with you. Uh, we'll have an onboarding session with either one instructor or the entire team, and we'll go through step-by-step -step showcasing how you're gonna be able to customize the specific lessons. Now. That's going to be in our next series when we actually dig deeper into the hands on or the HOL cloud. Uh, but we will be able to go through and get everyone comfortable who will be teaching the class. Uh, one thing that we will also do is we'll send out a kit to the instructors so that way you'll actually be doing the same things that your students are doing as you're facilitating. Wonderful. And um... Ryan Carlton has a question about evaluation access code. So Ryan, what I assume you're asking about is access to a course. Um, Pam, do you wanna address that question? Why don't you take that one, Amanda? Okay, so Ryan, one of the things that we do with our kits and our platform is we have what's called a kit code from the bottom of the kit box. Students, uh, and, and we'll go into more detail on this on our next webinar, but students have to complete two, uh, two to three prerequisite lessons before typing in their kit code, and that gives them access to the entire course, all the lessons. Um, with that being said, you know, evaluations are completed in one sitting and, and we can definitely go into more detail on that with uh, our, our next webinar, but that's just a high level view. Um, there are some, uh, another one is what are the resources available to students when they have questions? Like what types do we have? Excellent question. So we do have an actual student resource page where it'll take them to tracking their kits, uh, how to uh, 
register for the HOL cloud and everything is all available for you on our hands-on labs website. We'll also provide this link for you as the instructor to post on your specific LMS if you'd like. Uh, there's a 1-800 number that students can call into or they can actually fill out a form to get more assistance from our customer support team. Awesome. So uh, we've got another attendee who's asked, how customizable are the lessons? Can you write your own content or only choose from pre-written content? That is an excellent question. So yes, you can actually write your own content if you like. Uh, we have that custom lesson authoring tool available. So that way, if again, you have the content or a curriculum that you're using from a different um, source and you want to include that in the class, you can absolutely use the custom lesson authoring tool to help create that. Wonderful. Um, Cynthia asks, how does the license work? Is it per school or per student? Excellent question. So once you've adopted it, the, the way the students will access it is per student. So the students will either purchase their kits directly through our platform, or if they are going to work with a bookstore, then they can get the kit from the bookstore and every student is going to have a specific kit code. Wonderful. Um, another great question that Ryan had um, was, do the labs as a whole need to be done in one sitting by the students or can they be done over say multiple days? That's a great question. So this, the labs itself can be done over multiple days. However, we ask that if you are going to start a specific lesson that the students do complete it in full before moving into any additional lessons. Uh, we do have some opportunities, but because of academic uh, academic integrity, we want to just make sure that the students are moving forward in a straight in a straight line, if you will. Yeah, and we can absolutely go into more detail on that on our next webinar um, because I know uh, on average our lessons take a, a minimum three hours to complete. Mm -hmm. um, but there are some that take longer than others, but especially with the evaluations, yeah, we want them to complete that in one sitting and in one entirety before bouncing around. Great question. Yeah, absolutely. All right, I'm just scrolling through to see if we have any more questions. Um, do we require minimum orders? That is a fantastic question to have with yes. your dedicated representative. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, we've got, oh, I already have an online biology course I teach via Canvas, but I am considering updating the lab activities. Is there an opportunity for instructors to pre-evaluate the labs? Absolutely. What we'll do is uh, one of my peers will get in touch with you and we'll see what you're currently using, what you're doing, and then we can work not only with the science team to see how that would align with some of the lessons and the labs that we have available, uh, and we'll move forward from there and really just figure out a way that this can be what you want. So we've got another question. Um, are labs uh, safe for students to perform at home? That's a great question. And Dr. Kate, I'm going to ask you to do <laughs> answer that in full. Yes, these labs have been uh, put through the ringer to make sure that the students can perform it in full, but I'm going to have Dr. Kate go ahead and help with this one. Absolutely. So hi, everyone. It's great to be here with you today. Um, all of our labs are tested both by our PhD team as well as being student tested prior to going to market. Um, to ensure that um, they are safe to be completed at home. We work very hard, especially amongst um, our chemistry courses and some others that require uh, harsher, harsher chemicals, excuse me, to send very low volumes of chemicals, as well as um, taking a green chemistry approach. So for example, reducing hazard by, um, instead of sending maybe uh, sulfuric acid and acetic acid or weaker acid. So we really take um, safety um, at the very forefront of our development. All of our kits include um, safety materials, um, PPE um, for students to ensure that they can perform the experiment safely. So um, that is at the very forefront of our development process. Awesome. Thank you, Dr. Kate. <laughs> These are some great questions, everyone. Yeah. I love it. I'm really enjoying it. And I hope you guys do come back for the next uh, the next part of this series because we will get 
into depth on the HOL cloud and we'll go into the safety um, precautions that are taken like Dr. Kate just mentioned. So there's a lot that you'll you'll be able to go into. There's one more really great question. This is again from Ryan. If a student is having trouble with a particular portion of the lab, do I, the instructor, have to do the entire lab myself or can I jump into that particular part of the lab in order to help them? You as the instructor can jump into that specific part of the lab to help the student. Uh, and that's, that's one thing that I love about the platform is that Again, every student is going to be on a different path, right? They're not always going to be doing the same thing at the exact same time. So you will have the opportunity to connect with a student and see where exactly they're getting stuck, uh, where you can jump in and help them and see if that's something that will get them moving forward. Fantastic, that is awesome. Thank you, Pam. Uh, Martha, I do see your question here. Um, we're getting details on the next webinar. Um, I do believe it will be soon. And I'm thrilled that you're here, that you took me up on my invitation to come and join <laughs> us today. I'll be sending you uh, details on that when that next webinar is uh, scheduled. Um, yes, Kenneth, this webinar has been recorded and we will absolutely send a recording of the webinar with additional resources um at the end of the day today so you will be seeing that it's better late than never and we're so glad you're here absolutely thank you so much and i just saw another question about do you work with the bookstores for financial aid students we do and that's where our sales support team comes in and we will handle all of that setup so that way the bookstore will be able to order whatever kits that would need to be ordered for your financial aid students. We at Hands-On Labs do not work directly with financial aid, so just keep that in mind. But again, your account manager will work with you on that as well as your sales, uh, sales support. So we've got a great question here from Emily um, asking about how we monitor students taking labs. Do you wanna Explain. take that one, Tammy? Go ahead, go ahead. Um, so how we monitor, quote unquote, monitor students taking labs, um, because of academic integrity, um, uh, evaluation portions of lessons must be completed in one sitting. Uh, we do have uh, fail safes in place where if a student were to say, open another window, open another tab, or try to toggle back and forth in the lesson to look for answers, the evaluation would lock and submit as is. They would have to reach out to their instructor and ask to be reset. Um, and it's at the discretion of the instructor. Um, so that's just a little bit, we'll absolutely go into even more detail on that in the next webinar, but that's a great question, Emily, thank you. And Amanda, if you don't mind me chiming in, one thing that I uh, would like to add in is that um, throughout the course of the um, experimentation section, students are required to take pictures of themselves performing their work. They have to have their name included. They have to have, um, uh, the date included to ensure that they are actually performing the experiment. So we really do try to put in that checkpoint um, for you as an instructor to make sure that the students are completing the experiments. Perfect. I think there was one more question that came in. There was in the Q&A. Is there a lab program directed towards physical science? Do we yes. have a discipline for physical science? Yes, absolutely. Uh, one thing that you will get after this recording is sent out to you is a link to our actual homepage. And this is where you'll be able to see the online curriculum, all of the different disciplines, uh, and you'll be able to see if the labs that we have built are going to fit your needs for your course. Uh, Ryan, yes, you will absolutely receive an email regarding uh, the, wex the next webinar. Um, we will absolutely send out those details. Um, your, once you get in touch with your dedicated reps as well, um, they'll be able to also remind you of when the next webinar will be. So great question. Yes, we will absolutely do that. And I do hope to see you guys all on there for the next one as well. Emily, that's fantastic. If you could just let us know what school and state you're with, we would love to uh, get you set up for chemistry. Any other questions, Amanda, that came through? 
no, that is it. Okay. Well, thank you again so much, everyone. Uh, I really do appreciate you taking the time to come and listen to me share with you on Hands On Labs. Thank you, Amanda, for helping with all of this and Dr. Kate and the team. Like I said, we are so excited to partner up with you and see if there's anything that we can help with. Uh, we'll definitely make sure that your specific uh, account manager gets in touch with you if you've put your email into the chat box. And we look forward to seeing you all at the next one. Thank you all so stay much. Safe. Stay safe, stay healthy. Bye-bye. Thank you.